The UH Rainbow Air football team looked to improve to 2 and 1, taking on visiting foe UC Davis. Rainbow Warriors trying to bounce back after a tough road trip last week when they took on the number one ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. They're fired up. Opening drive, Lance Williams applying the pressure off the edge. Defense gets a three and out. Ensuing possession for the Warriors though, unable to capitalize and score. Fourth down, Hunter. Unable to handle the snap, bobbles it again, giving the Aggies a short field position. Aggies gets on the board first with the field goal. Next possession for the Aggies, UH needing a tough stop and Kennedy, Tulimase Ali'i, two tackles for loss in a row, he's having a beast of a season. Warriors actually down late in the second half, 10-6 until Max Wittick connects with Devin Stubblefield for the 14-yard TD, UH goes into the half up just 13-10. Opening drive for the Warriors on offense in the second half, Paul Harris with the carry, he had over 147 yards here, 95 of those 147 yards. It's the longest touchdown run in UH history. That 95-yard touchdown run seemed to give the offense the spark they had been looking for all night. Wittick to Devin Stubblefield, almost gets his second score of the night. On the extension, ball comes loose. Aggie is saying it's theirs. They go to review. Ball pops out just after Stubblefield hits the turf. Doesn't matter though, on the next play, Melvin Davis punching it in, one of his two rushing touchdowns on the night. Then UH just starts pouring it on. Wittick with the 19-yard touchdown pass to Marcus Kemp. He had over 100 yards receiving along with Stubblefield. Warriors come away with the big win at home. Wittick, 17 for 24, 272 yards, two touchdowns. Most importantly though, no turnovers. Stubblefield and Kemp. Over 100 yards, one touchdown each. Harris and Davis, three touchdowns on the ground between the two of them. Warriors, 47 to 27 on the W. I thought our guys played hard. We took their best shot. That was a, uh, a good football team. We had a nice game plan. They did the same thing to Reno. They wouldn't give the offense the ball, and they were converting on third down. They had a nice game plan, and, and uh, you know we had to overcome that. We had to stop. We had to make some plays and we had to make some on offense and we did okay. I think as coming off a bad game from the offense, I think we were more focused on ourselves and getting better ourselves. So it wasn't too difficult this game because we were more worried about getting ourselves going in the game than, than what they were doing to us. With the win, the Warriors are now 2-1 for the first time since 2009. They're on the road again next week Saturday, taking on another Big Ten foe. This time, it's the Wisconsin Badgers. With Kaleo Sports, I'm Kyola Kaluhio Kalani.